Protests continue in Maryland in the wake of George Floyd's death. Tanya Jackson grew up in Cockeysville and organized a peaceful protest at County Home Park near the library. People held signs and took a knee. Jackson tells us her husband is black and they have two children together and she's tired of the violence. It could be my husband, it could be my son. You know, they walk out the door every day and you pray that they come back. They're tired of it. I'm, I don't want to see my son be a hashtag. I don't want my husband to be a hashtag. You know, the next mom doesn't want to see their child be a hashtag. We're tired of our kids being hashtags. It needs to stop. Derek Chauvin, the Minneapolis police officer who kneeled on Floyd's neck, was fired. He faces a second degree murder charge. Protests continue to be held across the country. Demonstrators hit the streets of downtown Nashville. Thousands of people gathered with signs and noisemakers at Legislative Plaza for a March for Justice rally. Participants say it's important to keep pushing for equality and justice for all and to keep protests kid friendly so young people can feel more involved. In Las Vegas, protests were violent and officers detained multiple people. Demonstrators say they were hit by pepper balls when officers warned they would be arrested if they didn't get out of the street. A deadly police shooting of a black man in Atlanta sparked fresh protests over the weekend. Natalie Brand reports for WJZ. The officer has been fired and the police chief has resigned. Oh. Late Friday night, Atlanta police were called after Rayshard Brooks fell asleep in the middle of a Wendy's hey. drive through blah, 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 Police blah, 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 say Brooks failed a sobriety test and say when the officers went to arrest him, he resisted, took their taser and ran off. That's when Officer Garrett Rolf fatally shot Brooks in the back, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Two minutes and 16 seconds before they even checked his pulse. Rolf has been fired. Brooks' widow wants him in jail. I want them to deal with the same thing as if it was my husband who killed someone else. Protests erupted over the weekend in Atlanta, and the Wendy's was burned Saturday. Right now, everything that's going on is ridiculous. Brooks' cousin Jeffrey was out with demonstrators last night. Ask for change, fight for change in a peaceful way. Lawmakers here in Washington have been working on legislation to address police reform since George Floyd's death last month sparked nationwide outrage. Any poison pill in legislation means we get nothing done. Republican Senator Tim Scott plans to introduce a bill this week. If we do it right, I think we can reduce the number of times that we're dealing with misconduct. The White House says reducing immunity for police officers is a non-starter. Do we want to have a nation where police officers who do really awful things cannot be held accountable? President Trump is also expected to sign an executive order on policing this week. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.